Hello, thank you for joining me for this new video. If you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, um, I have made an introduction video for this cake before making it, in which I was saying, oh, you know what, if the video is too long, just don't worry, skip it and, and then it'll be fine. And then as I went along making it, I was like, oh no, no, don't skip anything. Because of course, this kind of cake deserves a class. I can't put you um, in just a short video in a few minutes what took me like a few weeks to do. It's not that long. It took me a few weeks to do just because I have kids. I have three of them and that I have a lot of other things to do in the meantime, but I really started this cake a long time ago. And but when, when the idea came to my mind, I was at the store buying supply to make cake. And I said to my mom, I took my mom my sugar. I said, mom, mom, I have an idea. I'm going to make this cake for Halloween. It's going to be beautiful. And even yesterday when I called her, I said, mom, the cake is almost done. Finally, she was like that Halloween cake. And I was like, yeah, yeah so excited about that but it takes time you will if you want to have so i'm going to show you i'm showing you right now usually I, like you see what you're watching and but the cake is actually right here so i'm going to show you and i'm going to cut it and add it to the video i don't know at what point but i will do it be patient this is the key patience and detail are the keys for this kind of result um I'm here. I can give you some advice if you need some, um, but um, I probably said it at the end. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I don't know. But um, take your time to do it. And also, one other important advice, but it's important that I say now actually, is do the decorations before baking the cake. Simply because once the cake is baked and the ganache is done and it's all done and it's set, you can't spend days. It won't take days like like I do, because, <laughs> but it will take you surely hours, maybe a couple of days actually. I, I, I think it will take at least a couple of days. I should do a cake like that and do just that, just to give a good idea of the time is. But yet again, I know what I'm doing. I'm used to that. So it's even easy for me. It's not difficult, difficulty-wise for that cake. I think it's okay. You will see I'm sticking a lot of things and I use nothing but water. I will try to put it in there, give you information, but what I stick the details of the cakes with is water. So it can be, it's not cheap. Cake designing, cake decorating is not cheap, but it's like they sell a lot of useless things. So I will talk a lot, I will show a lot, but because to have that, it takes a lot. It can't, it can't be like that. It's impossible. It, it doesn't happen. Like on the Instagram, I will put a, a, the reduced version on the Instagram. It's just a couple of seconds. And no, this is not a couple of seconds work. Take your time, do your, your ganache slowly, refrigerate your cakes, take them back, redo the ganache. Take your time, take your time. If you have no patience, you will have something that will be like all sloppy, falling all over the place. You won't have the result. Then in that case, don't even start. It's not worth it. If you're really dedicated to it, then I promise you can get this kind of result. So since this is going to be long enough, let's get started. We're going to start by boiling the cream and melting the chocolate and then mix them together in three times. Once we're done, we're going to put cling film on top of it to let it cool. And the cling film, what we want is for it to touch the chocolate that will avoid um, getting a crust on it. Now we're going to do the cake, the usual recipe that I'm using because kids love it, so why change? We're gonna do two cakes of each size. And then you can color them or not. I choose two, I'm going to color them. The 
the two colors are done i want i used blue dark blue for this because it was with chocolate cocoa i want it to be very dark and this is violet and this is the other one we're going to grease the pans and then put the cakes in the oven and bake for 30 minutes at 180 degrees check the um it depends a lot on your i'm not sure you saw that so i'm gonna do the second one there we go all right that's what i was doing and you probably didn't see on camera greasing the pan and i was saying check the oven because mine i know how it works and i know the temperature so about 30 minutes should be enough then yours depends how it is so what i'm telling you is just to give you an idea All right, I like to do that to flatten and to even the surface. You don't have to do that, but I like to. And I'm not gonna put my finger in there. I never actually do. All right. And then you can tap it a bit. Sorry for the noise. Second one. That's not that pretty, but it's gonna taste good. We baked two big ones and we are baking two small ones. The second one. We're going to remove the top layer and then cut the cakes in two equal parts. cakes um, to set in the fridge overnight so you see we have a little bit of imperfections here but it's okay then I have the ganache that I warmed up a little bit it's a bit runny and this is the consistency not the consistency the texture that I want for my ganache to be kind of runny because my cake being really cold what's going to happen is that when the look when the ganache goes on it it's gonna set really quickly and that's exactly what I want so we're gonna get going okay. 